Previously on Sailing Bohemia, we explored the picturesque island of Espiritu Santo in the Sea of Cortez and were treated to some awe-inspiring views. And Peter's newfound fisherman's superstitions began to bear fruit. Okay, panic stations. The world is ending. Um, we had a, a big chat uh, over the past couple of days. Uh, we're struggling to get news at the moment, um, but we, we managed to, if we take a dinghy out to this rock out here, half a mile away, we can get some reports. Uh, we heard that the Mexico-US uh, border is about to close or has closed yesterday. Uh, so, uh, so we're going back to La Paz to stock up. Uh, we're gonna get a bit more gas, we're gonna get more fuel. Uh, we're going to get our new solar panels hopefully delivered from the US. Hopefully they made it across the border in time before they closed it. Um, and a few other essential bits and pieces for the boat. Uh, so we're just a, a quick pit stop into town, we hope. Um, and then we'll be out within a few days, maybe a week maximum if we're waiting on stuff. Um, I'm experimenting, trying something new with cleaning our water maker filter on the way back to town. Uh, it's been a bit of a struggle keeping these things clean. You're supposed to be able to reuse them once before you have to change them. Uh, and you change them every two weeks, so we don't want to use a ton of new ones. It feels quite wasteful. Uh, so I've been trying to clean the old ones. I haven't done a great job so far. So the new experiment is dragging it behind the boat in our wake as we go. So fingers crossed uh, no sharks eat it on the way back. Whatever it is, this is a big one. The line just shot out. I was just cleaning a piece of seaweed off it, dropped it back in with a, a plop and let it go and something went straight for it. I'm telling you, this is what I've been waiting for. Wow, well, it might be your lucky morning. This is gonna be a mahi mahi. Unless I lose it. Is the line strong enough? It's really putting up a fight. Woohoo! So it's not mahi mahi, but massive tuna. It's really heavy. I would say at least 10 pounds, maybe even 12. That'll do us for the week, no? Definitely. Wow. Okay, so we're just arriving back in La Paz. We're making our way through the really long channel to get into town. Uh, this will be a quick trip, we think. We hope, in fact. Uh, we're just nipping in really to stock up. Uh, so hopefully the new solar panels uh, that we ordered will arrive. Can't wait to have those back in action again so we can stop running the generator. And uh, what else? Some last minute provisioning. We're gonna be stocking up on tins so we can get it back out to the islands again as soon as possible uh, and start enjoying the remote bays uh, and, and anchorages around there. So looking forward to that. Uh, probably less than a week in town. La Paz is famous for its strong tidal currents and winter northerlies, often going in opposite directions. We anchored close to the town centre in the hope of staying dry in our small, heavily laden dinghy. That should last us a few days. <laughs> our cruising plans are set to take us north into remote isolated parts of the Sea of Cortez. Without knowing when we'd next have a shop, let alone a supermarket on the doorstep, we provisioned Bohemia to the max with food and fuel. Did we get enough rum? Ah uh, yeah, the only thing is I don't think we have enough alcohol. Okay, so we have reprovisioned. We are absolutely packed with <laughs> with food for our for our long voyage. And sadly, the solar panel hasn't arrived. They are slightly delayed. 
So what we decided to do is we're gonna move our boat to another anchorage in the uh, La Paz Bay because there's some nasty winds coming down. They're gonna be gusting over 30 knots. Uh, so we want to be well out of that. We took Bohemia to nearby anchorage Bahia Falsa, where we heard the good news we've been waiting for. Woohoo! Finally we've got our solar panels. Uh, it's quite a complicated process getting these from the US. Uh, we went with sun power this time. Hopefully they should last longer than the cheap ones that we're replacing. This is kind of a, more of a, a premium brand. Um, and we managed to get uh, our friend Rich at La Paz Cruiser Supply uh, his help to ship them down from the US. Uh, so fortunately the board is not quite locked down yet uh, with corona closures. So yeah, it's going to be super exciting to be self-sufficient and not rely on the generator again. It's funny what gets us uh, boat folk excited these days. <laughs> So this is an easy install for us, as easy as it gets really, um, because we're just replacing panels that were already here. We bought these ones because they're more or less the same size, same dimensions as the ones that we're replacing. And we're just replacing two of these with the brand new ones. So all we need to do is there's two mountings uh, right in the middle uh, where we need to adjust the move the, the mountings a little bit. Uh, but it should be pretty straightforward. We've already got the wiring and already got the, uh, the, uh, the mounts for the most part. Uh, it's pretty exciting already because we're getting the same amount of power uh, that we had with everything with just these two new sun power panels uh, and the, the small amount that we have on the top of the dodger. So when we've got three more panels uh, of these old ones to connect up. Uh, so we should be able to be fully self-sufficient uh, with all that running and make our own uh, water, you know, run the water maker off the solar. So that's like the holy grail of self-sufficiency for us. Can't wait. Well, it couldn't be a much better start to the day. Uh, it's nice and warm. It's going to get up to 30 degrees or what's that like low 80s Fahrenheit today. Uh, there's a very light breeze and we are headed to uh, the most spectacular anchorage uh, we think in the area. Uh, it's called Balandra Beach or Balandra Bay um, and can't wait to be there. We haven't really visited before, uh, we've been keeping it for a good day. It's not very sheltered so you need to have a really like flat calm day on the, on the sea. Uh, and we've got uh, a window of about five days, we think, with the weather, so we're really gonna um, set up home there, set up camp and, and enjoy the place. So you done for the day? So hopefully we are all set for some extended and super remote cruising. Uh, we were pretty well set up before, but now we are fully provisioned, like there's about as much food as we can fit under the cabin sole, under the floorboards. Uh, I think we're sitting a few inches lower in the water from tins. Uh, we have uh, our solar finally, so we are completely self-sufficient with regards to energy. And we managed to, uh, for the past couple of days, run the water maker just off the solar. So that's amazing. That, that is, that's as good as it gets. And we're saying our goodbye uh, to La Paz. If all goes well, then we won't be back in La Paz and the southern side of the sea uh, for another year or so. There is now absolutely no wind. There's like two knots. So we uh, got the engine on and plowing our way to Balandra Beach. Uh, can't wait to get there because it's the beach we, we've always seen in the guidebooks, magazines, so it's so surreal that we're gonna be there.
So, it looks like I always get the best jobs. <laughs> Guess what that's for? It's a good job we found a plumber who does call out. <laughs> does he call out, but he goes down the rank. <laughs> Captain first mate. I don't even feel like first mate right now. Yeah. Now where's the hole? <laughs> Oh, that was a good plunge. Anything coming out? Very little. <laughs> one more time. Oh, another good one. Well, it looks like the plunger boy yesterday, uh, his call out wasn't successful. He didn't do the job that he promised and we are still blocked. So uh, it's fallen to the captain uh, to take matters into his own hands and uh, go in there and, uh, and clear the blockage. So I'm gonna take all the pipes off and, uh, and clean them out. Wish me luck. Oh. Oh, it's hot in there, but it's all done now. That should be the end of these problems. We won't need to call out the, uh, the plunger boy anytime soon. Some people say that cruising is just boat work in hot places. Uh, well, we are doing our fair share of that this week. Uh, today's job is cleaning the bottom of the boat. Um, it's growing like crazy. We've got lots of uh, a buildup of, of growth and little marine creatures uh, in the hot water. So uh, we need to do it every month. Previously, when we were back home in San Francisco, we didn't used to do it ourselves, firstly, uh, because it was so cold in the water. Um, and secondly, uh, it was once every three months and it wasn't that bad, but it's just uh, getting out of control at the moment. So we've got to go down there and sort it out. Well, Bohemia's hunter-gatherer has been hard at work for the past couple of hours, I think. He found a really good reef uh, just on the edge of Balandra, uh, where apparently there's some big fish there. And I took a sneak preview through the binoculars uh, just five minutes ago, and it looks like he's not coming back empty-handed. Let's see what he's brought. Are you ready? Ready. Impressors. Whoa! Oh my god! What the hell is that? That? That's bigger than you are! Yeah! That is a snapper! Wow! That's as big as they come, right? They, I think they can get a tiny bigger, but absolutely amazing! Wow! Um, the worst thing is, when I, when I got it, he kind of went into a little cave and I couldn't get him out. And there was a moray eel going after it. Oh my and god. Right, you'll get bites. Yeah, they're People. big things, aren't they? Vicious, absolutely vicious. So I was like, don't tell me I'm gonna lose it. Freshly caught snapper fish, snapper fish curry. Not bad. I think that'll last us for a month, the size of it. Very impressive, huh? Hello. Hi. So, by the time you'll be watching this, um, we're going to be sailing somewhere in the middle of the Sea of Cortez. Um, so our aim is to go to really remote places and we are pretty sure that there's not going to be internet or phone signal. But we really want to let you know that throughout this entire time we're going to be filming loads and editing. And once we get that internet, we're going to be uploading the episodes. All I need is one bar and I will be uploading, trust me. So, we have some really good cruising plan ahead of us. Uh, the, the plan is that we're going to be sailing all the way north to the top of Sea of Cortez, to the Bahia de los Angeles and possibly even Puerto Peñasco. And there are so many places on the way uh, which are totally remote, islands and bays which we will, which we will visit and explore. Uh, so our plan is to travel north over the next three months and then summer in the Bahia de los Angeles uh, so that we can avoid all the hurricane season. 
and throughout all of this time we're going to be recording and editing so that you can virtually join us on our adventure. The Sea of Cortez, as far as we've been told, as far as we've seen, uh, just gets more spectacular and beautiful the further north and the, the further uh, out of civilization uh, you go. So part of the charm of these places that we'll be going to is that there is no phone signal, they're isolated, they're remote. Um, so can't wait to, uh, to explore it and start documenting it. So what's really important, uh, if you don't want to miss an episode, is to make sure that you subscribe to the channel uh, and tap the little notification bell next to your subscription uh, and that will allow YouTube to send you uh, a notification whenever we've managed to, uh, to publish a new episode. It'll be just us and my ukulele. It's going to be a long summer. Bye! Special thanks in this episode go to our newest patron, Chris from Los Angeles. Chris, I'll make sure Peter's cocktail is extra strong tonight. Thank you so much. If you enjoy our videos and would like to make a contribution to Bohemia's Bar Tab, then you can head over to www.patreon.com forward slash Sailing Bohemia, where you'll find a small menu of our favorite cocktails to choose from. Thank you.